Every movie, whether amazing or terrible, has its own mistakes. These often go unnoticed in great films because the viewers are so engrossed by the plot and action. Extras spotted on set, period dramas with modern tech, and wardrobe malfunctions have become the stuff of cinematic errors. These small mistakes may affect the way you feel about some of your all-time favorite films, or they may not. Check out these 10 mistakes you probably never noticed in famous films. Captain America's Damaged Uniform in the Avengers when the Marvel Cinematic Universe unveiled its first Avengers film, fans freaked out. So much so that the movie grossed over $1.5 billion worldwide. But even with the film being the first Marvel superhero film to generate $1 billion in ticket sales, it still had its fair share of mistakes. One can be found in the final act of the film. During the epic battle against the Chitauri invaders, Captain America is zapped with a blaster gun. Thor then helps Cap to his feet, and we see a significant amount of damage on his suit on the bottom right-hand side. However, when Iron Man flies the nuke into the portal and is blasted back to Earth, the damage to Cap's uniform is mysteriously gone. Han Solo's outfit in Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. The second installment in the original Star Wars trilogy took us on another crazy whirlwind adventure through the cosmos. While the film has become the most critically acclaimed chapter of the Star Wars saga, there are a few mistakes that we just couldn't ignore. One of those hiccups appears near the end of the film when Han is captured. In the scene, we see a malfunction with Solo's wardrobe before he's dipped into the carbonite. You see his jacket appear and then disappear during the awkward I love you talk with Leia. The issue was slightly fixed on the DVD version, which shows the jacket lighter in color to almost match his shirt. Although the color is fixed, the material is not, and you can still see a shiny texture to his shirt during that scene. Mia Wallace's overdose in Pulp Fiction While the film boasted A-list actors such as Uma Thurman, John Travolta, Bruce Willis, Samuel Jackson, and many more, it also featured a handful of unnoticed mistakes. One big error comes from Thurman's character Mia Wallace's overdose. When they decide to give her an adrenaline shot to the chest, they mark her with a red magic marker. However, when the shot has been given and Mia awakens, the mark is nowhere to be seen. Dom Cobb's kid spot an A-list actor in Inception Christopher Nolan's sci-fi thriller Inception took viewers on a trip to the dreamscape. We went on a ride from reality to the dream world and back again. But even with all the praise this Academy Award winning film garnered, it also featured a few mistakes. One such blunder comes at the very end of the film and features a celebrity guest appearance, but not in the way you're thinking. In the final scene, when Cobb goes up to his children and hugs them, apart from calling him Daddy, the son also calls him Leo. Which we're assuming is just the cute nickname for DiCaprio. The misspelled headline in The Dark Knight Rises Another Christopher Nolan goodie makes the list. In his Batman sequel, The Dark Knight Rises, we see Christian Bale reprise the lead role of Bruce Wayne. This time, the Bat must face a more lethal and intelligent foe, as well as a femme fatale who is just trying to get by. One of the movie mistakes comes when Bruce Wayne does some research on this cat burglar and finds Selina Kyle is a suspect. As Bruce is researching the jewel thief, the word heist is spelled H-I-E-S-T in one of the newspaper headlines. Stranger caught on camera in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. There is just a certain joy viewers get from seeing Johnny Depp play a scouring, dirty pirate. Why else would Disney be making a fifth installment? While we can't get over the awesome story the pirates bring and the phenomenal acting, there are a few mistakes we also couldn't get over. One in particular shows a stranger probably not meant to be on camera. Just as Captain Jack Sparrow commands, on deck you scabrous dogs, a cowboy can be seen over his left shoulder just looking out to sea. Presumably, this is just a crew member with a bit of spare time who's decided to use that spare time gazing at the sea from the Black Pearl. Cher's driving test in Clueless. The infectious cult following of Amy Heckerling's 1995 comedy Clueless still inspires to this day. While the loosely based story of Jane Austen's 1815 novel Emma brought us some fresh faces, such as Brittany Murphy and Stacey Dash, it also brought a few mistakes. During Cher's driving test, the teen is so distracted by the other events in her life, she runs into another vehicle and destroys her side view mirror, causing it to fly off. Oh, should I write them a note? However, when she pulls over as the instructor demands, the mirror is replaced. The White Car in Braveheart In Mel Gibson's epic biographical war drama, we see the events of the First War of Scottish Independence against King Edward I of England. The Academy Award-winning film does a fantastic job at portraying life during this time, but due to some editing misses, we see a bit of the future in this faraway land. The more noticeable moment occurs during a battle scene, when a white car can be seen driving by. The other time is far less noticeable. After William Wallace leans in to kiss Murren's body at her funeral, he stands and a car can be seen driving by in the distance over his shoulder. The Gas Tank in Gladiator The epic and brutal Ridley Scott film Gladiator not only won multiple awards, but it grossed more than $450 million. 
But even with all of that, the movie was still littered with mistakes. A major inaccuracy happens during a reenactment of the Battle of Carthage in the Colosseum. After a chariot loses control and flips over, the dust settles and we see a gas canister in the back of the chariot. This, of course, should not be here, as the movie is set in ancient Rome. Gladiator actually had quite a few errors, such as crew members seen in crowd shots and changing sets. The Desert Chase Scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark Steven Spielberg's Indiana Jones film, Raiders of the Lost Ark, is often ranked as one of the greatest films of all time, both in the action-adventure genre and in general. Starring Harrison Ford, Jones is pit against a group of Nazis who are searching for the Ark of the Covenant, which Adolf Hitler believes will make his army invincible. While the film offers a unique storyline, intense action, and an all-star cast, it also delivers a few mistakes. One of those errors happens in the riveting desert chase scene. In the sequence, Ford is fighting a blonde, balding man who wants to take control of the vehicle, and is thrown through the windshield onto the hood of the car. In this moment, you see the blonde man has turned into another man with a full head of brown hair. This is more than likely the actor's stunt double, but it's hard to miss. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of order. Sweet mercy! Without Ralph, we're doomed! Wreck-It Ralph. When Vanellope is taught to drive with the help of Ralph, she loses a tooth. She spits it out and gives us a big smile, letting us know she lost that tooth. But later on, it reappears. With all the sugar and candy throughout the lands they're visiting, we're certain there must be at least one dentist. There was probably a deleted scene of her going to the dentist and getting a crown. That's why she has that adorable smile again. The Little Mermaid Working with kids or animals is difficult, and any director will agree with that statement. Before Prince Eric is presented with his unflattering statue, his dog Max heads over and licks Ariel on the face, on the right cheek to be exact. But when Max is called back by Eric, Ariel turns around and touches her left cheek, remembering the slobber just left there on the wrong side. Animals can be a distraction on set, and even half-fish, half-women actresses can get distracted by them. He's safer in the cockpit than a cargo bay. What an idiot. Toy Story Getting ready to be tortured by Sid, Woody calls on Sid's abused toys to help him save his friend Buzz. On the wall behind him is a clock that reads 310. Moments later, when the toys are getting ready to execute Woody's plan, the clock reads 10 o'clock. You could say it was hours later, but unless they live in Alaska, the sun should not still be shining. We think one of the animators had a little fun and changed the time on us to see if we were watching. It's nice to live on an island with no large cities. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch In one of the opening scenes, Lilo takes hula lessons as two men beat on drums for rhythm. It is quite impressive how they keep their pace, especially impressive for the guy on the right. In between shots, he changes his drum. Originally, they both had yellow drums, but then the guy on the right changes his one out for a pahu. We're gonna blame this one on the property master on the set. He probably missed a day for work for some surfing lessons. George and I are like brothers. <laughs> 2319! Monsters Inc. When Monsters Inc. scarer George exits a kid's room, he has a near-death experience. A human child's sock is attached to his back. Code 2319, alert the CDA. As the Child Detection Agency arrives and causes chaos, the sock flips from pointing to the middle of his back to pointing to his shoulder. Maybe this mishap has to do with the same sock monster that steals my socks from the dryer. A mystery that'll never be solved. Beauty and the Beast If you're going to get into an argument with a Disney character, make sure it isn't the Beast from 1991's Beauty and the Beast. He has a temper, and in the beginning of the film when he loses that temper, he slashes a painting of his human self, going downwards from left to right. Later on, when Belle strolls into the forbidden wing of the castle, the painting has different slashes. These slashes go down from right to left. Maybe the Beast has numerous paintings of himself, and claws them frequently. I'm tour guide Barbie! Please keep your hands, arms, and accessories inside the car and no flash photography. Thank you. I'm a marriage spot, I'm a marriage spot. Toy Story 2. During the commercial for Al's Toy Barn, Rex fumbles with the remote to turn off the television. Luckily, Ham comes over and helps before anyone hears the commercial. Strangely, when the TV is turned off, there is no reflection of Ham or Rex. Are Ham and Rex vampires and that's why we can't see their reflection? Rex has the right teeth for it, but Ham still looks too innocent for us to believe that. Maybe we'll find out in Toy Story 4. <laughs> Aladdin 
When Jafar holds Princess Jasmine captive, she has to try and convince him that she is in love with him. And how could a woman not fall for his charm, right? As she tries to seduce him, a gold bracelet can be seen on her right arm. Once Jafar realizes it's a trick, he pushes her down, and the bracelet is now on the left arm. Was this magic from the genie, or did the animators make a mistake? We'd like to think it was the genie, only because we love Robin Williams and are hoping for a deleted scene that one day explains this. Oh, let it go. Frozen. There is a lot of magic going on in Frozen. We have magic ice coming from fingertips and a giant snowman that tries to eat people, but not every character has magical powers. Hans doesn't have any, but the actor must have felt jealous of this oversight, so he added his own. During the film, he takes out a sword numerous times to battle or to be threatening, but where is it coming from? It magically appears and disappears throughout the film, just like his love for Anna. You should see your faces because you look ridiculous. Tangled. In the climactic scene when Flynn cuts off Rapunzel's outrageously long hair, his right wrist is visible and shackle-free. Then, in the next shot, his wrist is bound again in shackles. It looks like Flynn was having a hard time deciding if he should be imprisoned or not. At least when Rapunzel's hair changes colors, it was on purpose, even though it would have been cool if it turned purple. Something tells me a whole lot of people are about to die. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad is by no measure a perfect movie. Actually, it's not even close. So it's not really surprising that along with the poor decisions the film made, it also made some visible continuity mistakes too. When Harley is changing and the whole crew stops to look at her undeniably hot body, what? There is a continuity mistake that totally slips through. In the moment right before we see that Will Smith's Deadshot is wearing a white shirt, the movie then cuts to Harley's stripping scene. But when we cut back, Smith is wearing a totally different dark colored shirt. We're guessing that Robbie's bod distracted most fans, and it looks like the folks editing Suicide Squad may have been distracted as well. Doctor Strange. With Cumberbatch leading the way, the film introduced us to some new magical elements of the MCU. But unfortunately, all the magic in the world couldn't fix some mistakes in this film. At one point, Stephen Strange is at home looking for help on a video chat, and when he becomes frustrated, he throws everything on his table to the ground. Christine then enters with food for him, and when the camera cuts back, we can see that all of the things he just knocked to the ground have magically been placed back on the table. Now, Doctor Strange may have some awesome powers, but we don't think instant tidying up is one of them. The Wolf of Wall Street not counting a 2005 documentary that is literally called The F Word, The Wolf of Wall Street holds the record for the most uses of the expletive in a film, with 506 F-bombs. Joe, f***ing stupid, nuts. stupid, f***ing you know driving what? you like f***ing maniac, you know the attention that that f***ing draws? The movie is a wild ride, and along with all the swearing, there's also some pretty steamy sex scenes between Leo and Margot Robbie. One of these scenes actually features a pretty funny continuity error, as Leo's pants magically jump onto his body between cuts after his final lovemaking session with Robbie. We're guessing you probably didn't catch this editing mistake, as there are a lot of other things on the screen to be looking at, but once you've seen it, it's hard not to laugh at. That explains it then. Okay. Eyes on me. Jurassic World. Although it was met with mixed critiques, there's no denying that Jurassic World was a commercial success, as it raked in well over $1.5 billion in 2015. The movie was undoubtedly exciting, and Chris Pratt did a great job with his character, but unfortunately, even with all that money behind it, the movie still had some visible slip-ups. In the scene when Hoskins first approaches the raptor cage, we can see that his watch shows approximately 2 p.m. After the rescue of the staff member who falls into the pit, the shot cuts back again to Hoskins, and his watch now reads 1 p.m. This movie features a lot of crazy science, but we don't think it dealt with time travel. So we're gonna have to chalk this one up as a continuity error. La La Land. La La Land is a force to be reckoned with, as the 2016 Hollywood musical has now officially tied the record for most Oscar nominations of all time. This film takes every last detail into consideration, but even the most carefully crafted cinema can fall victim to some continuity issues. On the day Sebastian, played by Ryan Gosling, visits Mia, played by Emma Stone, at her coffee shop, Mia had been shown entering work wearing black pants and carrying a yellow bag. But when Mia leaves work, she's wearing a blue skirt and holding a red bag. Over the next few cuts, Mia's outfit continues to change from skirt to pants. It's a very small mistake and in a movie that has the actors singing and dancing through the stars, this little slip-up likely goes unnoticed. Avengers Age of Ultron The Avengers movies admittedly have a lot on their plates, with all of the characters and storylines needing to intertwine in just the right way to make sure everything in the MCU makes sense. It is understandable, then, how some small editing errors can slip past the filmmakers and make it to the final cut. In Avengers Age of Ultron's big chase through the streets of Saul, Captain America's shield starts out with a few scratches and smudges that are clearly visible. While his shield is strong, we don't think it has regenerative powers, so it must be an editing mistake that by the end of the chase, Cap's shield is magically spotless. 
Hell or High Water Hell or High Water was one of the most criminally underrated and underwatched films from 2016, and hopefully its Best Picture nomination will help convince more people to go see it. If you do take the time to see this thrilling piece of cinema, try to catch the editing mistake from the start of the film. As Ben Foster and Chris Pine are driving off after their first bank robbery, Foster is shown taking off his right glove and putting the hand back on the steering wheel. But in the next shot from outside the car, his gloves have magically jumped back on his hands. This is a high intensity moment, so we're guessing that viewers didn't catch this on the first watch, but that's what we're here for. And time is money. Hop along. Zootopia. Zootopia is a lot of fun and did a great job of introducing us to some hilarious characters while also promoting a pretty meaningful message. One of the best characters in the film is Yax, who is of course played by the notoriously chill Tommy Chong. Unfortunately for Yax, he's the subject of our latest movie mistake as he completely messes up what he calls himself. Yax, who doesn't wear clothes, incorrectly refers to himself and his fellow nudists as naturalists. Huh? Oh, for sure. We're a naturalist club. <laughs> which actually means experts or students of natural history. What he meant to say was naturists, as in people who don't wear any clothes. It's unclear if this mistake was on purpose or not, but either way, we spotted it. Does this make you uncomfortable? Because if so, there's no shame in calling it quits. Captain America Civil War. Captain America Civil War brought Marvel some incredible commercial and critical success. Many people have argued that it's the best MCU film to date. That being said, the movie isn't without its fair share of goofs and slip-ups. In the first Avengers briefing with the secretary, it can be clearly seen that in the background, Tony Stark is wearing a wedding ring. The problem is, when the shot changes, Tony can be seen in the same position, but this time with no ring. Now, it's not uncommon for playboys like Mr. Stark to take off their wedding ring once in a while, but we have to think this was an editing mistake and not a character choice. No, definitely not. Deadpool. In one scene, you can clearly see the eponymous anti-hero cut off his left hand. The problem is, when Deadpool is falling a few moments later, you can totally see that his right hand, not left, has been dismembered. This is either the fastest sleight of hand trick we've ever seen, or someone done goofed. 